you know, come what may, do or die, give me that baby. And then she said, and now we'll give him back to you. Why? Because then I have. Hi everyone. The premise for this prophetic word is the voice of the Lord that came to me in the middle of the night. And he came with, as a declaration and the voice said, because every prophetic word must be fulfilled. And this uh, word came to me on the 6th of July, 2020. And you, would note, you will notice that that was when the Lord was speaking to me about the Hannah and uh, this generation that we are prophetic, we're called prophetically like Hannah. Um, and also I asked the Lord to confirm, to, to show me that this is really a word from the Lord. And the scripture he gave me is the, the book of Revelation chapter 19 from in verse 10, when the Lord said, for the testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. Just look at that scripture and um, try and study it. Okay, so um, listen to the rest of the video that I was making before, um, because I had to cut the first video in half to give you this part of the video, just because it's a bit loaded with um, those words um, that the Lord gave me in the middle of the night. Okay. So the other thing I want to put out in this video is um, that, um, is, look, look what happened here. Um, Hannah had to bring forth the promise by the hand of the Lord first before all the others follow. Because what happened was after Hannah gave birth to Samuel, she went on to have five more children. And um, a scripture to back up this thing is the scripture that says, seek first the kingdom of God. It's just there. Seek first, the, the, it's, it's, in the, it's in the Bible, um, the Lord Jesus said it. He said, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will follow. This is a, a, a this Hannah situation is a real example of that word that the Lord said. What, what was Hannah doing? She was seeking um, the desire of her heart. What God has put in her heart, the promise, she just knew. She just knew that she had to have a baby. She just knew it with all her soul, all her might, all her spirit, all her strength. She knew, I just have to have a baby to the point that she made a vow. She said, Lord, if you would give me this baby, I would give him back to you. Do you know for somebody to make a vow like that, you must know something prophetically. It's not something you just say. It's not something you just say. If you go and look at, read that scripture carefully, read that chapter carefully, and, and read it and, uh, with the spirit of it, the spirit of, of, that, um, of that book, the first book of Samuel, you will see the Holy Spirit will show you that um, that vow is not something you just say like that. It's a vow that comes from the innermost part. It's almost like it's connected to Hannah's very destiny, was connected to that vow. She knew for her to exit this planet, she must give birth to a boy, a boy called Samuel. It's like it was ingrained in her. You know, come what may, do or die, give me that baby. And then she said, and now we'll give him back to you. Why? Because then I have completed, then I have done what you brought me here to do. But until then, I haven't done what you sent me to this world to do. Give me that baby. I'm on this planet now. Give me that baby. We made an agreement before you sent me to this earth, before I was conceived in my mother's womb, before I was formed. You had a plan for me. You wrote about me in your book, Heavenly Father. And in your book, you said that I am gonna have a child called Samuel and he's going to be a prophet for Israel to deliver uh, the is to deliver his people from oppression that's the word that you put in my destiny book now give me that word Lord give me that word and um, and she said if you give me that word I will give it back to you why is she giving it back to the Lord because she knows that that word that's her fulfilling her destiny and that's her giving it back She's fulfilled that destiny. She's not doing it for anybody. She's not doing it for the wo woman that was uh, that was provoking her, you know, the, her, her husband's second wife.
that was provoking. She's not doing it for her community. She's doing it for the Lord. And then the Lord Jesus Christ in the New Testament goes on to say, seek first the kingdom of God, the, seek, first the kingdom of, seek first the kingdom of God, and all these things will follow. So what, what does that mean? Get that thing that the Lord said to you to do. People are going to say to you, oh, you're too desperate, oh, you're too this, oh, you're too that. You will know if you're desperate. Honestly, you would know if you're desperate. It's like, you know when you've overdone it, you know. So um, that's, you've got to be careful about that as well. The enemy uses that a lot to steal people's um, destiny from them. And uh, the proof of that is if you look at um, um, the two brothers, Esau and Jacob. <laughs> Do you remember Esau and Jacob? Do you remember the things that Jacob was doing? And, um, and he took his brother's um, birthright. You know, and the Bible said that for a bowl of soup, Esau, um, Esau, he despised, he despised his birthright for a bowl of soup. But in our modern day time, you and I will say, oh yeah, because he's not desperate. You see, see how it's a different standard in God's kingdom. But Jacob was desperate for the, kin for the kingdom of God to be manifested in his life. Jacob was desperate to bring forth God's what God put in his heart, the desire he was carrying. He was desperate to see it on earth as it is in heaven. So he sought the kingdom of God. So that's, this is where you need the Holy Spirit so that you can discern what is the kingdom, what is of your father's kingdom and what is of the kingdom of darkness so that you can pursue what's of the kingdom of God. And then once that's, that's done, you will see that all the other things will follow. All the other things will follow, just like Hannah. She, she gave birth to Samuel, and then after she gave birth to Samuel, she, she went on to have five more children, you know? Now she can, now she can turn to that woman, uh, the woman that was tormenting her, and say, oh, sorry, what, what was that you were saying again? Let's have a conversation. What was it you said? Yeah, sorry, what was it? Yeah, you know, she paid no attention to all that, except, you know, of course, the woman made her cry and sorrowful. Um, so, um, so, uh, please, uh, I, I, I pray with all my heart that, um, oh my God, that the, the Lord Jesus Christ will begin to open the, the, the doors for you, that the Lord Jesus Christ will begin to, um, open the curtain for you to see and that the angels of the Lord will begin to work, um, so, um, hard hard working in your life to bring forth the kingdom of God in your life. Um, seek the Lord, seek him early while he, he, while he, he, while we can find him. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. And, um, you know, so in conclusion, I just want to emphasize the premise for this prophetic word, which is because every prophetic word must be fulfilled. The Lord starts that sentence by saying, because, why? Uh, because the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ is a spirit of prophecy. And there's going to come a day when you're going to look and you're going to be so thankful that the promises of God came to pass in your life because you're going to look and you're going to see the bigger picture. You're going to be thankful, thankful from a whole different level because there's going to be so much happening. Do you, do you, politically, regionally, globally, that you will look around you and you're going to be so thankful. You will understand that it wasn't just because of your desires, but there was always a bigger picture predestined for your promises to come to pass, whether you're a man or a woman. If God's giving you a vision, your time is now. The time of Hannah, Hannah's joy is upon us. Um, we're in the end time. Everything is wrapping up now. Do or die, come what may, the word of the Lord will be fulfilled. I told you, I'll say that word again before I say goodbye. He said, because every prophetic word must be fulfilled. That's what the Lord gave me in the middle of the night. All right, everyone, be blessed. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye.